So if you want to make six figures, you can't just be talking about you want to make six figures. You hear what I'm saying to you tonight? If you do the three things I tell you to do tonight, I guarantee you whatever it is you want to do in life, you'll be able to do. You will be able to accomplish whatever you want to academically, financially, relationally, whatever. So three things. All right, I'm going to tell you the story. I got to get out of here. And the story is about, you guys have probably heard about this before. It was a, it was a young man who, you know, he wanted to make a lot of money. And so he went to this guru, right? And he told the guru, you know, I want to be on the same level you are. And so the guru said, if you want to be on the same level I'm on, I'll meet you tomorrow at the beach at 4 a.m. He liked the beach. I said, I want to make money. I don't want to swim. Guru said, if you want to make money, I'll meet you tomorrow. 4 a.m. So the young man got there at 4 a.m. He all ready to rock and roll, got on the suit, should have worn shorts. The old man grabs his hand and said, how bad do you want to be successful? He said, real bad. He said, walk on out in the water. So he walks out into the water. Watch this. When he walks out into the water, it goes waist deep. So he's like, this guy crazy. Hey, dude, I'm going to make money. He got me out here swimming. I didn't ask to be a lifeguard. I want to make money. He got me in. So he said, come out a little further. Walked out a little further. Then he had it right around this area. The shoulder area. So this old man crazy. He's making money, but he's crazy. He said, come on out a little further. He came out a little further. He was right at his mouth. My man, like, I'm about to go back in here. This guy is mine. So the old man said, I thought you said you wanted to be successful. He said, I do. He said, walk a little further. He came, dropped his head in, held him down, holding him down. My man didn't scratch it, holding him down. I got you. I know you brushed it out, but I got you. He had him held down. I need you for an illustration. He had him held down just before my man was about to pass out. He raised him up. He said, I got a question for you. Somebody answer the question for me. He said, when you were underwater, what did you want to do? I'm looking for a different word, though, than lip. What's that word? He said, I wanted to breathe. He told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. I don't know how many of y'all got asthma here today, but if you ever had an asthma attack before, you short of breath, that's so deep. Short of some breath, you wheeze it. The only thing you're trying to do is get some air. You don't care about no basketball game. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful...